Hey guys, today we're going to open RTR. RTR is a set that I used to love, but has gone down in price quite a bit. Uh, or I guess more honestly, it just has never gone up in price like it normally should have. Uh, so we opened some Battle for Zendikar, that was really bad. Uh, we opened some um, Dragon Maze, that was even worse. Will RTR be better than Dragon Maze? RTR was a fun set to draft. I like Dragon Maze a little better because you have all 10 commanders at rare. So it's very likely that you can get, you know, one of the commanders in the sealed pool or get a few of them and then you're forced into those colors. Slicing so a Charm, Crypt Horror is a very interesting card. Not the best ever, but still. Maybe Selesnia Charm is worth some money. So much RTR was open that it's just people are sitting, stores and distributors are sitting on tons of these things. Uh, this card is a little bit better um, than for EDH. I think this card is worth a little bit of money. Collective Blessing and maybe the Militant. I always thought like this card was a very beautiful card. It just never saw enough play. So overall, not I think this card in foil is pricey. I may be wrong. It's one of those random EDH stuff, EDH deals where cards are much more pricey than they should be. Let's see. Fractos. Phantom. Guild Mage is a lot of fun. Crackler. Oh detention, it's not too bad. It's not great. Um, its value has not increased like it normally would have. RTR is a very, it's the beginning of when Magic the Gathering was not good for finance. Uh, began RTR, um, meaning that a lot of people opened it. But when you compare it to cons, people open way more cons to Tarkir than RTR. And people open way more, way more, way more Battle for Zendikar. But it's kind of a nice little history of going through like the worst packs ever. I can use this as fodder for the uh, giveaways. Anyway, bye guys.